Welcome friends. In this video, I will teach you uh, how to make longitudinal section of road by using AutoCAD and SWDTM. So let's start the video. For drawing the longitudinal section, you must have obtained the data in this flowing format in the field. So you have to uh, obtain the reduced level from this data in the flowing format. This format mainly consists of mainly consists of a three column. First column contains the chain edge. Second column contains the reduced level, and the last column contains the remarks. Remarks means the name of that point. For example, in this format, only uh, only we have to uh, take the center line reading, not the offset. We have we have to just take the center line, the main reading. For example, for the zero channels IP IP not the reduced level is the reduced level we have to write is the is the corresponding reading for the zero channels that is center line reading for the zero and the center line reading for the zero is 1299.788 that's why we have written uh, that corresponding uh, same reading. Similarly, uh, for another point. Uh, in the uh, for another point and, and another chain is for example uh, for 18.396 uh, which, uh, which is the point of uh, BC1 that is the beginning of curve then we have to write only the center line reading of every chain is point so, so for uh, BC1 this is a, a center line reading similarly for uh, uh, MC1, EC1, uh, BC2, EC2 the every chain edge uh, point of, of center line is taken in this format then after arranging all the data in this format we have to import all this point into a AutoCAD to make a longitudinal section of road to import, to, to import all the point from MS Excel to AutoCAD we have to open a uh, we have to just first open a AutoCAD. Then after opening a after opening a AutoCAD, we have to open a SWDTM. Then after opening SWDTM, we have to select all the data of this L section format by by this way. And after selecting all this data, we have to click on Yes section. And after clicking on the Yes section, choose Draw real Profile slash cross section then after clicking on this choose draw real profile then it will display a dialog box like this then open AutoCAD then you have to first uh, from the drop down button we have to select from Excel then after selecting Excel the paper size is all then the scale for the horizontal scale and vertical scale we can change from here now the horizontal scale and vertical scale is 1000 and 100 and number of rows is 1 and number of columns is 1 uh, don't change the uh, other data now click on execute after clicking on execute click on draw all and after clicking on draw all you can see a, a statement AutoCAD uh, saying pick any point as a reference point so click anywhere in this black space in this model space suppose I have clicked here then, is, then the, the longitudinal section of road is ready the the road, uh, the drone section only show the ground level of that area now now we have to make the formation level we have to make the formation level line from starting to the end of road alignment so making a so making a formation level we have to consider a one main point that is uh, suppose for example from the zero channels that is from here suppose you want to join in this line in this chain is 90, 
seven seven. Then uh, then you have to uh, for formation line you have to select a line option. Then you have to join these two point. Take another point uh, corresponding there. Suppose another point lies here and click on here. Then, then you have, uh, we have to check the gradient between these two points. To check the gradient, we have the we have this formula gradient. Gradient uh, is called to difference between RL of two point divided by distance between the same two point. That is <coughs> that is uh, in the numerator. In the numerator, we have to subtract this areal minus this areal final minus initial then divided by this distance the distance is the, the final chain edge minus initial chain edge then after that then uh, then after dividing we must after dividing uh, and multiplying into uh, 100 percent that must not be greater than the 12 percent we have to uh, we must make the formation line less than 12 percent after joining uh, after joining such two point then after completing <coughs> then after completing joining all this point then our longitudinal uh, section will look like this then uh, in between here there is a point a you can see here point a that is this point is A and this point is B. So this point must be a straight line because this point because this is a bridge axis, bridge formation level. We don't have to change the bridge axis. And here and here in culvert we have to make arrangement for cross drainage structure. Uh, like this way. You have to make cross drainage structure uh, for hemp pipe. You can use a small diameter circle, and uh, we have to make like this at a cross drainage at a culvert. Then, after making this line, this, this formation line, a cross section is ready. In this way, we can draw longitudinal section of any road using SWDTM and can make the formation line. By using the formula, uh, this gradient is called to difference between area of two point by distance between same two point. In this way, in this way, we can make longitudinal section of road. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.